On this week's edition of Mmm Malaise, we have a Union 36 inch spinner. Mm, fun. Pointed motor, moss canopy, point tip blades. Mm, little odd, ain't it? Oh, this is the box it came in. Super 36 ceiling fan. Ooh. Three speed control, four wood blades, reverse air. Ooh. Fancy. It is brown. Here we have other minute details. Installation, ooh, fancy. It uses one of those weird, you know, rod goes direct into it, mounting brackets. Not doesn't use double claw or anything like that. It should. Here we have. The white version and the brown version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the box again. Evidently, it was sold at Rickle. Fun. And up here, we have the fan itself. It's a nice shade of chocolate brown. Normally when it comes to three speed 36 inch Evergo Union things, you usually you yeah, you usually see them labeled as Evergo. They're usually round motor with square tip blades. Union, however, when it came to selling their product anywhere else, decided, oh, we're just going to, oh, I don't know. So with weird point tip blades, pointed motor, and a moss canopy because reasons. Of course there's no label on top of the switch housing. But if I had to guess, I would say this thing dates to 1983. More than likely. 83, maybe 84. The motor is cast aluminum. Which is nice. So anyway, let's see how this thing performs. Now, one of the major downsides to using A direct rod mounting bracket is that there's no no noise dampening no rubber grommets there's no, no isolation whatsoever between the fan and the building structure what does that mean that means that basically it's loud as hell. Because the hum will reverberate through the building structure and you'll hear it. It will be loud. It will be obnoxious. If you're trying to sleep, this is not the kind of mounting bracket you want. 
Now, see, if this thing used a double claw bracket, like other ever goes, right? Basically, it would have been a, a bit quieter. But no, we're stuck with this. As you can tell, low speed is a tad on the fast side. Just a tad. Wobble at least is somewhat minimal, somewhat negligible. Now, this fan is a bit faster than average when it comes to 36 inch fans. I mean, generally, they're a little faster just by nature. But this one, uh, this one's fast. Go to medium. It's already running, it's what is essentially a fast, like high speed for anything else. Like for a lot of 36 inch fans, right? This basically is high speed. And yeah, it hums quite a bit. I sense maybe a little, a very, very minor cyclic buzz. But it's nothing to really cry about. speed is even higher yeah this one is labeled Union the box had no label on it except on the back which said Union lock key but no major label or anything like that. It just says Super 36. Yeah, very, very descriptive. Interestingly enough, the manual for the fan, right, says Union of America. And apparently their American office was located near the Dallas-Fort Worth airport in Texas. So, there you go. thing flies as expected. It would be nicer if it had metal blades, but eh, can't have everything. Let's let it Bearings are a little clunky. Kind of interesting since this fan is new in the box. Literally fresh out of the box. But, yeah. Sometimes bearings do receive some storage rash, storage rash even in the box. Like you see so many view fans that have bearings that are crap right out of the box. So, mm. but at least it's not hissing so I can tolerate it. I got this fan about three years ago. Yeah, this is one of those backlog bits that's been sitting under my porch for a little too long. Yeah, so I figured, yeah, I got some time. May as well, you know, let it see the light of day. And there you have it. A Super 36 Union 36-inch spinner. Brown.